That just don't make any sense to me. On first down, when we only had two first downs, why are you passing the ball when the pocket is collapsing in on Hurts every time and he's folding under much compression? But yet, the two times we ran the ball, it worked well. See, he didn't get Let me calm down. It's not rocket science. It's football. Run the ball, especially when it's working extremely well. Stop trying to get cute. Stop trying to get fancy. Last week, you wanted to, when we were playing against the Falcons, you wanted to go for it and be gutsy every time. But now why you ain't go for them two, fourth, and fives? No, a good, good and gosh darn well, we're not moving the ball well on offense. We're probably never getting that field position again when we probably didn't because I cut that she off. I don't even know what the final score is or was because I cut it off. Because it's a heartbreak massacre on TV. And it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't the freaking Dallas Cowboys. And it wouldn't be so bad if we had a chance to win a winnable game if we just ran the dang ball. The defense was doing so well. Fletcher Cox went down. Isaac Somalu went down. And I know our offensive line is janky. But running the ball was working. And Dallas really doesn't have that much great pressure coming up front. I know Michael Parsons is a beast. But running the ball was working for us and the Chargers and the Bucks. So why in the heck? Why in the heck, Nick, you trying to get cute? Huh? You get cute in the second half against the Falcons. That's when you test out sheet, when we up by 38. Not when we we looking for life. Why are you getting cute in the play call and run the ball? They've been playing football for centuries. Run the dang ball. Who the heck do you think you are, Nick? Huh? Your last name ain't false. Okay? You ain't no superstar in Philly. Your last name is Sirianni, and I still really don't know who the heck you are. I need to go look at your resume another time. I know you got Frank Wright as a reference, but he must be your uncle or your granddaddy or something down the line. Because why in the heck did Frank Wright co-sign this man, Nick? You got freaking Miles Sanders and Kenneth Gangwell. Why the heck we not running the freaking ball? I know some of you were in my comments saying, because I was tweeting out on YouTube or whatever in the game. And some of y'all were saying, oh, young, we young, whatever. Yeah, freaking Jalen Hurts is young. Nick Sirianni, you, you don't get no excuse for not running the freaking ball. You don't reinvent the freaking wheel. What the heck are you doing? Answer that sheet. Why are you not running the ball? Huh? What's wrong with you? Because last time I checked, the Indianapolis freaking Colts run the dang ball. Huh? Isn't that why we hired you? To get that Naheem Hines, Jonathan Taylor, Marlon and Matt going on. What the heck is this? They ain't teach you that she is Indy. Nick Sirianni trying to be cute like this on the sideline the whole time trying to cover up your mouth because we know you're back there cussing because you know your job is looking real funny, Nick. Huh? I've been watching football my whole dang life. Why are you not running the ball? I've never seen somebody not run the ball when running the ball was working. The two times we did do it when I saw, I saw the Chargers run all over the Cowboys. I saw the Bucks run all over the Cowboys. So why, Nick? Answer that sheet. Answer that sheet. Anyways, let me collect myself because that sorry, sorry, sorry bougie don't deserve my blood pressure rising. Because I got other she going for me. Nick, you going to bed shaking tonight because you got to answer that she. I don't, okay? So I'm not letting you raise my monthly blood pressure. And you and that young staff you hired don't know she. Like I said, who wins Super Bowls? Old ass quarter coaches. Old ass coaches win Super Bowls. Old coaches, except for Mike Tomlin, and he's a freaking unicorn. Who wins coach? Who wins Super Bowls? Old heads. 
old heads. You don't know nothing yet, Nick. Especially if you don't know run the dang ball. Dude, you brand new. There should be three freaking plays on that clipboard. Why you got a whole Rolodex of plays? You ain't never been a head coach. Where you get all these plays from? Huh? You should just, huh? You don't get tricky on your first third day on the job. Third day on the job, you still learning the freaking procedures. You still onboarded, Nick. Who the heck did you think you were to pull out that Philly special in the second quarter against San Fran? Huh? Who the heck do you think you are to not run the freaking ball? You think you're smarter than the freaking Bucks? You think you're smarter than them? They ran the dang ball. Why the heck did you not? Huh? Y'all. 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 I can't come on here and keep giving y'all videos. I can't. Because that's some bullshit. The number one thing I said... When I made my Dallas Eagles preview, what did I say? Run the ball was going to be our key. Why? Because the Bucks ran all over Dallas, and so did the Chargers. But like I said, these sorry people don't deserve my blood pressure. I can't keep getting worked up over this bougie just to get embarrassed in prime time. And I know the team is young, but so is my heart. And my heart doesn't deserve this breaking. Thank goodness basketball about to start. Okay? Thank goodness. First of all, if you look at my studio, you're going to realize some changes. You see any Eagles bougie back here? I got this on because I was too lazy to take it off. Yeah. Okay? LeBron. NC State Wolfpack. That's the only thing that's going on back here. If I even do a video, because y'all, I'm not even capping. I don't have any spirit to do a video after watching that bougie. Why do we run the ball? Ever. Like, Jalen Hurst has me pissed, but not as pissed as Nick. Because that freaking offense Nick was running wasn't helping Jalen Hurst either. And Jalen Hurst has me pissed, but that was a busted old line. But the fact that we're able to run the ball when we did with that O-line, it's all on Nick's head, baby. It's all on Nick's head. Jalen Hurst had that pick six, but it was a slip. It wasn't fully on him. The defense keeps doing what I love. I know they gave up a billion points by now at the end of the game, but heck, wouldn't you? As much as the offense had them out on the field, we got some young, raw talent on offense. We need to be able to get it done, Nick. And Jalen, I'm not eating up Jalen yet on this video because Nick wasn't helping out Jalen. I'm, I'm annoyed. I'm not mad at Jalen because he's young. But hey, why I gotta have a young quarterback? Why? It ain't written in stone. You gotta have a young quarterback. Like I agree, Jalen is young. But heck, so is my short life. I don't want to waste years on waiting for a quarterback to develop. Bring me a quarterback that's ready to go. I'm sick and tired of waiting around for teams to develop. That's that bullshit. Give me what I want now. Life is too short to be waiting for the Eagles to get good again. That's that bullshit. I refuse. I refuse. Life is too short for your team to be good once every 15 years. That's four times in your life you get to see your team be good. Huh? And the first time doesn't count because you're zero years old. You don't remember that shit. Or you're five, six, or seven. Duck it. Who said we got to wait around for Jalen Hurst to develop? Win now, baby. I want to win now. I want to be freaking LeBron James. Winning every year. Bouncing around. Going winning. Why we got to wait around for something to develop? What the heck? By the time we wait around to develop, these other teams that were waiting around to develop will be good too. And we ain't going to push it. Win now, baby. Every year is win now for me. I don't want to be having sucky seasons. That's not fun. I want to win. They showed our little stat on Monday. That's why I hate Monday Night Football. They get all the graphics ready to read your team to fill. We have a losing record since Super Bowl 52. Losing, 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 freaking losing. All we did last season was freaking lose. I'm sick of this shit. Anyways, y'all, like I said, Here's your Eagles Chiefs preview. The score gonna be 50 to 10. 
maybe. It might be 60 to 10. Because I just saw we gave up some more points to the freaking Cowboys. And the Chiefs just lost back to back. I think they're one and two. And you know who they're going to want to get their win against? Us. We're going to get pancakes, steamrolled, smacked up, chewed. Anyways, guys, I just, like I said, I don't know if I can do another video. Because it's one thing to lose. But when you lose because you were dumb at the play calling, when you lose when you could have won by just feeding your superstar running back, Miles Sanders, <laughs> I'm not supporting that sheet. I support when you play hard, everybody play hard, and you lost. You weren't even trying, Nick, and I'm sick of that. I'm sick of that. Like I said, first, third day on the job, you playing is safe. I've had first days on the job. Why are you getting fancy on week three against Dallas? And Dan Quinn has been having, like I said, Dallas defense, have, they don't, Dallas defense is not even loaded with talent. Dan Quinn has them playing above themselves. I said that a billion times. That's good play calling. Jonathan freaking Gannon. I'm not even mad at the defense. I'm not even about to eat up Jonathan Gannon. Obviously, obviously, I'm on a rampage. I'm not eating up Jonathan Gannon. Because I'm not even mad at the defense. It's you, Nick. Anyways, I'm not getting my blood pressure up boiling. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. And like I said, I don't have any more videos for y'all. Because what the heck I'm going to say? I'm depressed. As y'all can see, can't y'all see? This is sick. You see what the Eagles have done to me? This isn't healthy.